travel has become a veritable instrument for socio-economic and cultural integration in the countries of the world. In some African countries, this has become an even more powerful economic stimulus than trade in tangible goods. The industry is considered by experts as the largest business in the world. People must move, and when people move, they must participate in some other activities, business-like, leisure-like, and that is tourism. So travel and tourism move together, and like I said, they are the fastest growing industries in the world because they account for the highest income for all governments these days. Travel industry or the travel market in Nigeria today has grown tremendously. Nigeria is a travel market. The diversity of the travel and tourism industry underscores its high capacity for employment generation, poverty alleviation, and wealth creation to a vast majority of Nigerians with different levels of education and status in the society. And we know what we are facing in Nigeria. There's no job elsewhere, but if you are, if you belong to an organization that has opportunity of creating job, it's, 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 it's adding to the economy. New agencies are opening up. Uh, the airlines are going to new destinations. They are asking for more frequencies into Nigeria. So it means that they need to widen out. And by so doing, uh, people need to man offices, travel agents need to man offices and uh, give people service, quality service. This is private sector driven. And you know, the airlines also, they are mostly privately owned. The hotels are mostly privately owned. So, and all of them make the travel industry. And uh, they employ a lot of people. They employ our system from the skilled, the unskilled and then the, 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 the semi-skilled people. Like the kind of uh, experience that European or uh, foreigners do in other countries surrounding Nigeria. So why not having this kind of experience here in the country? Especially it will bring, uh, it will bring people, it will bring uh, dollars, euros, people will spend because they will need to hire cars, they will need to hire rooms in the hotels. So that's all, is a lot of revenue to the country. Despite the advent of social media, which has revolutionized the industry, traveling of whatever form, still plays a vital role as it provides for physical contact. The IT, things are being done very easily. You can plan your trip, you can plan your itinerary online. You can actually have access to tourist site or tourist agent who can actually arrange and pre-arrange your trip without you even having to see them one-on-one. -on -one. Stakeholders in the industry are calling on the government to quickly improve the sector by putting in place necessary structures such as road and security. The travels and tour are coming a long way and I think we need more of government support to, and more of regulations to be able to put things in perspective. With the efforts now by the NTDC to actually encourage inbound tourism where a lot of Nigerians travel out and we should also encourage people from other countries to actually come to our country like I always say, we have good weather and Nigerian people are very friendly people. The tourism segment of Nigeria has suffered from organizational and management dilapidation crisis because that structure has not been on the ground. We, we are looking at a situation where tourism rises to, to as important as oil because what we've known only in the past is oil, oil, oil. Given the high potential in the travel industry in Nigeria, it is clear that the sector holds a lot of prospects in enhancing the economic development of the nation.